the internet is where all broadcast media is headed and online radio is your opportunity to get in fast, easy and cheap. And I want to share with you today how you can establish your own respectable digital radio service in just under two weeks. This presentation will reveal, firstly, the four main ways people enjoy listening to online radio, three of which don't even include a computer. We'll also look at how broadcasting radio online works, the process of getting live audio from A to B using the internet without spending a million dollars on a broadcast studio. The secret as to why now is the best time to jump on board before things start getting really competitive or too expensive or too closely guarded. Also, how new school online radio stations are slowly killing the multi-billion dollar radio industry and why the big radio bosses absolutely hate us. My name is James Mulvaney and I help radio presenters, entrepreneurs, DJs, bands, program directors, musicians, schools and universities, media companies, religious organisations, public speakers, celebrity figures, and the list goes on, um, really anyone who wants to get set up in online radio. That is what I've spent the best part of my career doing, so that they can share the passion for music, or if you've got a clear message that you want to spread, a message or a passion for music or anything you want to share with the world, online radio is an absolutely fantastic medium for doing so. Um, and I, why do I do this? Um, I do this because I myself have had some tremendous successes and failures as well and gained some great friends. Plus, you know, I get a lot of enjoyment from running uh, online radio stations and helping people start online radio stations. And really what I want to do today is collapse the myths behind the subject and kind of any things or barriers that have been put in place by these big radio corporation bus bosses um, and I really want to empower others to get online and establish their own broadcasting businesses. It wasn't always like that for me, although I've now had a lot of successes in online radio, I've run complete failure radio stations and I know what it's like when you're getting started and there's lots of information out there that's confusing and it took me a lot of time to get to grips with the technical headaches of all of this and setting this stuff up and getting on air. Um, I also wasted a lot of money and precious time on miracle solutions or bits of software that were too complicated for me to use and understand and they claim to be the solution but they just weren't working for me. That's until one day I was lucky enough to be shown how it was all done and I met someone who taught me the kind of trade secrets if you like and showed me the ropes and got me up and broadcasting and obviously set the foundations for what I know today and what I share every single day in my work with everyone else. So what I want to do is be that person for you. If you've perhaps thought about starting a radio station and perhaps you're not really sure where to begin, or if you've tried and just failed, I really want to help you and I really want to guide you through the process. So a little bit about me, I'm, I'm eternally grateful and I'm, as I said, I want to share this knowledge. I really am here to try and help people start radio stations and the more people I help start radio stations, the more I know that I'm doing my job properly. Um, I've been involved with online radio now since 2002, nearly 20 years, not quite. Um, frequently I would consult with some of the biggest and also some of the smallest uh, companies or corporations and organisations with their online radio ventures. Not always just radio stations, but anyone who wants to use internet radio as a tool to broadcast content, whether as I say that's a message or whether that's music, it doesn't matter. And I've indeed worked with tens of thousands of stations now over the past 10, 15 years. My business uh, specializes in online radio solutions. And in July 2015, which uh, is recently, we took over 500 new customers to help them with their stations. So we do this stuff month in, month out. As I said, this is what I do. This is what I have done for the past 15 years. And, you know, I will continue doing so because I absolutely love what I do. So... This included both startup radio stations and also well-established stations as well. Here's a handful of some of the clients that I've had the luck of working with over the past uh, 10, 15 years. Um, wide range of people here. So things from government institutions like the US Army, police forces and the NHS through to educational institutions such as different universities through to radio stations you've probably never even heard of. But 
you name it, I've pretty much worked with them in terms of different organizations looking to get set up and use online radio as a tool to broadcast. Radio might not be for you, okay? And just to kind of put it out there, if you're not interested in using radio as a tool to spread your message or share a passion for music or you don't want to start a radio business, then it's probably not for you and I wouldn't waste your time watching any more of this presentation. But, you know, if you are interested and maybe you do want to use internet radio as a tool, you know, maybe you want it to replace a full-time job. Perhaps you're doing something else at the moment and you're looking at this as a new career choice, then this is probably right for you. Likewise, if you're happy with radio being a bit more than just a hobby, probably isn't for you because it does require a lot of time. You do need to invest some time getting to learn the systems and really just build your station up. You know, it's important. This, this sort of stuff doesn't happen overnight. It requires a bit of dedication. So we're looking for people who are prepared to put that in, you know. And some of us don't want to be well known, you know, particularly if you're running a successful radio station and you're the on-air talent it's kind of unavoidable that you'll get a little bit famous to some extent. Perhaps you're not interested in making money or reaching out and helping people, then that's not for you. It, you don't have to run a radio station as a money-making tool. You can do it. It's entirely up to you. But it's important that you have got that passion and you've got that dedication and you're really determined to succeed at this in order for this to work. So having said all that, let's get to it. First of all, internet radio is better quality than normal radio. It's important to point that out. You know, if you're driving around in the car listening to an FM radio station, you'll get a lot of crackling, you'll get a lot of interference, and sometimes it kind of sounds like the guy talking is underwater. Well, the good thing about internet radio is you can avoid all of that. It's really, really crisp, clear quality. There's no interference, and it's equivalent, really, to CD quality. There's less restrictions on the content broadcast. If you want to go and swear on your broadcast, not that I'm recommending that you do that, um, there's no one going to tell you off. There's, there's much less regulated than if conventional uh, FM or AM where there's lots of rules and regulations and what you can and can't say in advertising and so on and so forth. There's no license to require to broadcast. So if you're operating on an FM frequency, you generally speaking have to have a license in order to operate a radio service on that frequency. However, with the internet, there's no such thing as that. So you can set up a broadcast. Yes, you're required to pay royalties if you're broadcasting copyrighted material. Really, that's for another day. However, the actual broadcast itself, there is no license required. If I wanted to set up a station with me talking or playing conversations or interviews I had with someone else, I own all that material. There's no problems there. I don't need to get any kind of license at all. So obviously, instead of going via the airwaves and the radio signal, it goes via the internet. But that's not necessarily a problem because it doesn't mean that you have to just have listeners who are locked down to their laptops or desktops, and I'll explain more in a minute. It can really reach beyond uh, any conventional radio broadcast. Really, you're only limited to anywhere with an internet connection, which is pretty much every single country in the world. So let's go, and go over the three biggest myths behind online radio. These are the myths that are put out there by people who really don't understand how it works, or they're put out there by people who want to stop people getting involved in online radio. Um, the first being that it's expensive. Now, you don't need a big broadcast studio in order to do this. You don't need to go and invest in loads of specialist equipment like mixing desks and CD players or anything like that. If you've got a simple Windows desktop PC or a laptop or a MacBook or anything like that, you're pretty much sorted and you can actually start broadcasting straight away. A USB microphone will be sufficient. In fact, the microphone I'm talking to you through right now is simply plugged into my laptop and it sounds pretty crisp, right? Uh, pretty good quality. Um, it's all about the software you install and as long as you've got a broadband connection and, you know, again, you don't need any something super fast for businesses, just a standard residential broadband connection is absolutely fine, you'll be able to broadcast high quality audio on the internet. Of course, if you want to invest a bit more in your station and perhaps you want to go and buy some nice equipment, that's fine too. And it doesn't cost as much as you might think in order to get a pretty decent setup going. Anywhere from maybe $500 to $1,000 will get you a pretty nice setup. And I'll talk about that again at a later date. So the second myth, myth we're going to contend with today is the experience thing. A lot of people assume that 
you need a lot of experience to get going in radio. Now this is kind of true. Um, a lot of commercial stations unfortunately won't talk to anyone unless they've worked in radio before. And certainly if you want to go into the radio industry as I did just over 10 years ago, it can be very tricky to actually get involved. However, setting up your own internet radio station is ideal to get experience and you, no one's going to stop you from doing it. You can go and get that experience firsthand um, and kind of teach yourself really how to present if that's what you want to do or you can teach yourself how to operate stuff in terms of the technicalities of it all. So with online radio effectively you become the station owner and then you can really choose everything that goes on. You can choose exactly how you want your station to sound, how you want it to look. You can even leverage other people to create content for your station either live or pre-recorded for interviews and that kind of thing. So our next myth is that you need to have a degree in rocket science perhaps to uh, get going here and that's not the case. The technical aspects of online radio are much more straightforward than a t con you know, the conventional radio station where you'd have a broadcast engineer who handles all of that stuff. There's not a lot of equipment that you need to plug together, there's not like loads of knobs and boxes that you need to tweak or anything like this. Very, very straightforward. If you can use a computer, you can broadcast online radio, that's what I say to people. And it's a simple process and we're going to show you exactly how to do this using our platform radio.co which I'll talk to you about in a bit um, but you don't need to go and spend ages writing code or configuring servers or anything like this so don't worry about it. So let's talk a bit about how does it work you know how does the process actually convert from me standing in my spare room for example talking into a microphone to someone on the other side of the world actually hearing what I'm saying well, first of all, you need to start up with a broadcast source. This can either be you, e.g. spoken voice, or it can be music you're playing on your computer, or it could be someone else you're speaking to in an interview situation. That tra is then transmitted via the internet to what is known as a server. Don't be put off by thinking, oh, here we go, this is where it gets technical, because we really handle all this stuff for you. Okay, so, you know, that's just a literally a formality of part of the process we'll configure it for you, we'll set it all up, we're making sure it's ticking over 24 hours a day. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, in terms of the broadcast source, it doesn't always have to be live. You don't need to leave your computer playing music all the time or anything like that. Due to the cloud-based nature of our platform, you can actually upload music onto the internet, schedule playlists to fire at certain times of the day, and actually walk away and forget about it. It will even broadcast when your computer is switched off, so you can be safe in the knowledge that your radio station is literally on air around the clock 24 7 for people to tune into which is pretty cool finally your broadcast will then go through the system and it will reach the listeners okay it doesn't have to be someone sat at a computer or a laptop like i mentioned earlier you can have people tuning in all different manners now so let's go over some of these now conventionally you might think yes a broadcast a internet radio broadcast accessed via a desktop PC or accessed via a laptop and indeed you can you can tune in using Windows using Mac using any pretty much any uh, computer or laptop you can think of even if it's a pretty old one it will still work for listeners to tune in and it's easy for them to connect you can even embed a little player on your website which will show you how to do what you'll have to do is open your website in their browser click on the play button hey presto though hear your internet radio station Technology is changing and the cool thing about internet radio now is more than ever it's so portable and this is where it's starting to become more interesting and more of a serious competition to FM radio, that kind of thing. Because whether you've got an iPhone, you've got an Android or any kind of mobile device, you can actually listen to internet radio on the go. This opens up a lot of possibilities for listeners so people don't, aren't just tuning in at their homes anymore but they're listening in things like on the bus or on a train or even in their car when they're driving along and they've got their their phone hooked into a radio station online, driving along anywhere with a mobile signal, a 3G or 4G signal, and it's absolutely fine. iPads, tablets, um, Amazon Kindle tablets, that kind of thing, all of these devices will also support online radio, and you can get people who are tuning in while they're reading a book and all this kind of stuff. Playstations, Xbox, Nintendo Wii, games consoles, another big platform where people are increasingly tuning into radio station whilst they're playing on computer games. 
they're using it as a kind of background noise while they're running along and uh, you know whatever it is people do playing football on FIFA or shooting people on uh, one of these games and um, you know that's becoming an increasingly big audience of internet radio listeners which you can tap into and get access to Finally, we're seeing more and more things like Sonos speakers, right, which will people will have installed in the kitchens or they'll have them installed in their bedroom or they'll have them installed even in, like, bathrooms, any room in the house with the Wi-Fi signal and they'll have one of these little boxes which connects to the Wi-Fi and it can play internet radio. People use these to wake up to in the morning. People will set an alarm on their Sonos speaker so it tunes into a certain radio station and wakes them up first thing in the morning. So this is again why internet radio is sort of overtaking and it's becoming a serious threat to conventional radio broadcasts. This is a huge opportunity for you. It's kind of scary for the big evil radio corporations, if you like. Not necessarily evil, but the big radio corporations who are, have controlled the market for many, many years and are now starting to see some disruption from small internet radio stations that sometimes produce better content or more tailored content for the listener and it's becoming a lot more exciting for for us, the small guy. So just thinking about all of this reach, you know, not only can you access four more times devices than conventional offline radio can, you can access them in 194 more countries than FM radio can, okay? And as I said, the big radio bosses are understandably kind of, kind of worried. And I've also had a run-in with these guys. One of his past times, uh, about probably five years ago, um, he was really after me and he really wasn't happy because one of my radio stations actually got featured on the BBC website and he wasn't happy about it so he came after me and he wasn't um, too pleased with the fact that we were getting all this publicity but that's the way it's going um, effectively they don't want you stealing their fame they don't want you stealing their advertising revenue and I've experienced it first hand so yeah, things are stirring up as you can see Going back 15 years, the internet really wasn't exciting. There wasn't much going on. It was just web pages with text and a few images. Now it's way different. You know, if you look at 10 years ago, 2005, around about then, MySpace came along, didn't it? And it really shook the record industry. Suddenly, people were getting discovered online, and it was really changing the way that music was, or new music was found and discovered. Then fast forward another five years, YouTube really started taking off probably about 2009, 2010. It started becoming more and more mainstream rather than just a kind of a few weirdos sat in their bedroom making videos. People started to take YouTube seriously as a platform for digesting content and getting entertainment. Social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, plus also you have these radio platforms or um, social platforms specifically designed for audio, things like SoundCloud, things like TuneIn, things like the iTunes radio directory. All of this will show you how you can get your station onto, by the way, and it's really important you do get in front of as many people as possible. Two billion hours have been consumed via TuneIn in the first half of 2015. That's an impressive number, and it's scary. Nothing like we've ever seen before. So people are becoming hooked, and people are loving internet radio, right? Constantly online via the computers, constantly on air and locked in uh, f when they're sat at work, you know, listening in the background, laptops, mobiles, iPads, you name it. And it really begs the question, why would only anyone want to turn on their old FM radio anymore, okay? Everything is turning web, and let's face it, five to ten years' time, it will only become more common for things like radio and TV to be consumed via these devices. Not that it already is now, anyway. Um, but then, if you leave it five or ten years, it could be too late, because the industry is becoming more and more competitive. And now is really why you should consider about taking a slice of this pie. Even if, you know, your station, and let's be honest, your station will not be successful overnight don't expect just to plug it in and suddenly have hordes of listeners descending upon you because it doesn't work like that you do have to put some work in promoting it and getting it popular um, but it can pay off and as I say sometimes you just need to sit on things as well for some you actually need to get in right now leave it for a couple of years and then you'll suddenly start to see things paying off you know time is sometimes a great reward um, and you know you can see YouTube's heading this way already it's kind of hard to become famous on YouTube now versus maybe five years ago when there was a lot more opportunity there. But I still believe there's plenty of opportunity in online radio and especially for niche stations too. We're seeing a lot of successes. Plus internet radio is still cheap, you know. 
there are lots of online radio stations out there now. However, it's still very obtainable to anyone who wants to get their foot in the door, including yourself. And if you want to start an online radio station, you can do it without vast amounts of competition. As long as you define your station, have a clear idea of exactly what it is you want to create and you're sure that there's a market there or there's a, an audience there for you, then that's fine. So give it a couple more years and there's going to be a lot more serious competition. As brands start jumping on board, people with big marketing budgets and plowing millions into the you know advertising and promotion of these stations. And this will kind of help keep the little guy at bay if you'd like. But if you get in now, whilst there's still opportunity and you establish yourself before this happens, there's plenty of uh, fish in the sea, so to speak. So that's pretty much it for this presentation. What I want to do is just go over what I'm going to share with you next time. And basically, it's a bit of a personal story. It's one of my past experiences, um, an idea that started on a scrap of paper in a coffee shop when I was chatting to one of my friends. I thought, let's turn this into a radio station. And it now gets 5,000 unique listeners per day, which is equivalent to about 2 million a year or 150,000 each a month. And I don't really spend a lot of time promoting this station anymore. Um, I actually can't stop people listening. They just keep coming and coming, which is an absolutely great feeling. So I'm going to be telling you about that story next time. Also, I've just re-recorded this specific presentation you've just watched for um, right now because I originally recorded it back in 2011, I think, which is four years ago. Um, decided it was time to update it a bit. So I tweaked a couple of slides and I've added some new facts and figures in. And also what I wanted to do was just tell you about a new product. And don't worry, I'm not selling anything at the moment. I'm just literally introducing you to the idea of it. Um, $29 a month is the starting price for our radio.co platform. That's less than a dollar a day. You can have your own online radio station up and running. And, you know, it's what, what, what we did was we was used to be selling someone else's software for 10 years. We decided um, last year in 2014 that, we wanted to really go on our own. and There was a lot of problems with the old software, so we thought let's just start from the ground up and build a platform for broadcasters, by broadcasters, if that makes sense. Um, and we've, you know, we've done a pretty good job, I think. We've had some really great feedback. It's only been live just over a couple of months, so it's still early days, and we've got a lot of plans and things we want to add, a lot of functionality which we're excited to launch over the coming months. But go and check it out, radio.co. You can get uh, access to a free seven-day trial if you like, try.radio.co. If you hit that into your browser, you'll be able to um, have a look at it. And I just want to say that my team and I are really on hand to help you. You know, we are here specifically to assist people with starting radio stations. There's no complicated software. You know, you can do all of this through your browser using our sleek online control panel. And you can even invite other people, DJs or staff, to help you set up and manage your station and also broadcast live. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Uh, my email address is studio at radio.co. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you with any questions you may have. Thanks very much for your time today. I appreciate you watching this presentation and I will speak to you very soon. Bye for now.